Hey guys, this is the professor and today we are going to talk about how to crack the EFLU entrance examination. Now this video will be specifically for the English honors course of the undergraduate level and with this we will take a look at the question paper on how it is divided and how we can approach each of these sections one by one. Now I gave the exam last year and I was all India rank 1 with a total score of 84 and with that experience I could say that the question paper here is actually very easy. It is not all that hard, the hype that you see in Quora or in Google, it is not that hard. If you have the right approach and the right materials to study, you are already good to go. All you need is a 10 days preparation period and you can achieve it all, you can crack it. And with that, let us get started with our very first section. And section 1 is grammar. Now grammar consists of 15 marks and it is very medium in nature. Now what do I mean by medium? So basically, if you are a student from CBSE or ICSE school, it gets very easy for you. All you need to know is the verb, the tenses, adjectives, the very basics of grammar. That is all. And if you know that, you can already tackle 12 to 13 questions with very much ease. It doesn't take much time. You do not need to prepare extra, but if you want to be foolproof, just go through the grammar books of your class 10 and 9 and you are ready to go. You will crack through this section with much ease. With that, we move on to section B. Now section B is vocabulary and vocabulary is very basic in nature. It consists of 10 questions and you do not need to go through the entire dictionary to prepare for it. Actually if you want to be foolproof you can do that but uh, if you have a basic uh, idea of reading or if you come from CBSE or ICSE school and you can read, you read regularly, you read magazines, newspapers, novels, something like that. You do not need to especially prepare for this section. This section is quite easy. You will get some basic words and you can get all of it tackled. All you need to know is if you do not read, start reading something in this 10 day period. You can already get started with that. And with that, we move on to our third section, section C. And section C is reading. Now reading consists of 15 marks and it, uh, it is very medium in nature. It depends from year to year how the questions will be structured. It could be one paragraph and one poem or two paragraphs and one poem or one paragraph and two poems. It varies usually. Now what you have to see here is that if you have a good reading experience, if you know how to read, if you already are reading a lot, you do not need to prepare anything extra on it. But if you haven't been reading anything, you can start reading in this 10 days period and it will help you a lot. You do not need to prepare anything extra. The question paper level is very medium. And all you need to do is if you aren't reading, start reading. You, uh, the questions will be very much from a literary format, from a literary poem that an author has already written or from a passage or article that has already been published in a newspaper. And that is all you need. Uh, if you are reading through them, if you read any of them, that is easy and you can tackle it without much difficulty. We move on to our section D. And section D is writing. Now it consists of 10 marks and they are not going to give you an essay or an article to write. What they are going to provide is, to, uh, is a structure basically of fill in the blanks. They will give an article that has already been published or an essay that has already been published and they will give you an option in a blank and they will ask you to drag and drop. That is all. You need to drag and drop at the right places. Now this will be time consuming. What do I mean by that is you have to read it through the entire paragraph again and again and this will consume a lot of time before you get the right answers. So I will recommend that you approach this section at last and uh, finish everything else at the beginning. And how you can tackle it is the same. If you have a good reading experience, if you are reading consistently and you need and you are, have been reading um, 
you have a habit of reading basically you are good to go you do not need any extra preparations for this section however if you are not reading you can develop this habit in this 10 days period read 5 to 6 hours every single day and right then you are good to go 5 6 hours if you are not reading otherwise just continue reading uh, just continue reading habit and you are already on the way and with that we move on to our next section and section e is general knowledge now this is something that we all make a lot of fuss about but actually the questions asked are very easy in nature now what do i mean by that you do not need to prepare the entire spectrum of general knowledge for this particular examination all you need is a very a very basic knowledge of movies tv shows and awards these three are all you need this covers your seven questions out of ten these three spectrums if you have a very basic knowledge of what happened in these three spectrums in since the past one year you are already good to go you can easily tackle seven of these questions and now there is a lot of further about uh, from which book we can read and what will be the most relatable now at that time i went through a lot of gk books in the market and the book that i found the most relatable was this one manorama yearbook of 2019 i will recommend you that you buy the 2020 edition for this and five out of ten questions were directly and by that i mean directly picked up from this book and that i will recommend this however you can read any other gk book it is up to you with that tackled we now move on to our next section and that is reasoning now reasoning consists of 20 marks and but the questions are very basic very basic in nature so basically what happened with me was i hadn't prepared anything extra on reasoning i just had a basic idea of how reasoning works and it has been years since i touched any reasoning books but the questions that came were actually very much basic they you do not need to actually prepare all you need was to have a very basic idea of reasoning if you haven't touched reasoning yet all you need is a, is to buy one book of reasoning any book particularly and get the idea because the questions are of elementary level if you are just starting out on reasoning you are good to go 10 days of reasoning practice one hour per day and you can actually achieve it all it is not all that difficult 10 hours is all you need to go through all the fundamental concepts uh, so it will be very basic level all you, if you have no a basic elementary math and have a very basic knowledge of how reasoning is tackled no expert just a very basic knowledge you are already good to go the questions are a very basic level and that is quite an easy frame to fit into don't go and fall into trap and waste your time into studying a high level of reasoning because that is not going to come into the exam the paper is very easy in when it comes to reasoning and with that we now move on to our very last topic and that is literature now literature consists of 20 marks which is quite in weightage but then what you need to understand is that it is very subjective in nature by what do i mean by that is if i have been an avid reader if i am reading a lot of books novels etc you are good to go you can score around uh, eight to nine questions very easily now why so few is because the question range is very varied it outreaches uh, there could be any novel and uh, there could be one novel which you have read which uh, one which you have never read it varies and the questions are asked basically from inside the text inside the novel take for example charles dickens a tale of two cities now the questions will ask from inside from the very inside of the book well, in an objective form so if i have not read that novel fully you will not be able to answer it so that is what i mean that if you are reading if i have been reading consistently if i have read most of the uh, old writers like charles dickens jane austen emily brown thomas hardy you are good to go you can achieve a certain level of scores but if i have not been reading 
I will suggest that you start with the basic writers, basic popular writers, like, uh, the ones that I mentioned earlier. Read about those novels, read as many as you can in this 10 days period. Or uh, this is only of 20 marks, so you can actually even skip this part. But I will suggest that you read as much as possible, read as many novels as possible. Reading is what will help you tackle each one of these sections. Reading could help you get over all of them. So read as much as possible in this 10 days period. And now with all of that tackled, we move on to some tips. Now the examination consists of 2 hours with maximum marks of 100. That is 1 mark per question and without any negative marking so you should approach all of these questions once without leaving anything behind and now some pro tips and the tip number one is to study the professor now what do i mean by that is you go to the official website go to the administration page and take a look at what the professors that are teaching in that particular branch have done like for example you have applied for hyderabad branch now you take a look at the teachers who are teaching in hyderabad branch right now and then you will take a look at their profile what they have done what they have done their phd in, what they have done their ma in, how they study how they take an outlook Take a look at the profile and you will be able to have a good estimate of exactly what questions might come. And this is a tip that actually works for all the entrance examinations that you are to give. This could be an ideal way to actually estimate the entire question paper. Because these professors are the people who actually set the questions paper for you. So if you have a basic idea of how the professor outlook is, you can search for these professors in, the, in Google too. If you have a basic idea, you can very well estimate a question paper out of that. And that is a great secret to actually crack through any exam. And now tip number two is for all those students who have yet not filled their application form and are confused about the branch. That is mostly for the people of 2021. Now, if you haven't applied yet and if you have not yet filled the form and you are confused, please do not pick up the Lucknow branch no matter what. Why I'm suggesting that? If, now it could be very subjective but we all know that Hyderabad branch is the best one if you have researched a bit you will know and but if you need some time if you want to do something more along with academics like you prepare for your PSC or writing a novel Silong could be ideal it will take care of your health your overall development as well as give you the right education along with Hyderabad but Lucknow is nowhere near it's not yet developed so please if possible if you are just deciding what I will suggest is, you, is that you do not apply to the Lucknow branch. And with all this, my one final suggestion will be to really read as much as possible. All you need are 10 days. If you have 10 days which you have right now, uh, you can easily prepare. And if you do not have them, read as much as possible. Read a lot and you are good to go. It's not that hard to crack this examination. If you have been reading, all you need is a reading experience. And it is not at all hard. Don't go with the hype that is impossible. Don't over prepare and waste your time. Prepare with the right things. Prepare in reading as much as possible. That will help you a lot in this examination. Just in case you need the PDF of this whiteboard, I will link it down in the description below. You can download it from there. And best of luck for your exam.